welcome to my studio. Today we're working on our tool Santa and this is a project that I've been thinking about for a long time and I really love him. He's got a great lot of character to him. So let's get started. To do our snowman we're going to start first start with a base and I'm going to be using a wooden base. I have a a uh, wood slice but you also could use a two by four this wouldn't be as neat but don't if you don't have something like that you could use whatever you have so I'm going to be using a 12 inch dowel the size is not as important um, we do want to make it sure it's the height of our snowman because we want the support but I wouldn't go so thin that it wouldn't um, be able to support it nice and well so this one I can't bend so I'm going to be using this one so whatever size of dowel is the size of drill bit you want to use so we're going to go ahead and drill the hole but the one most important thing is you want to make sure that you're straight up and down and not going at an angle which I kind of did the first time around and I have a wood piece underneath me I don't even want to go all the way through this but if I happen to then I won't go into my table So we want this to fit nice and snug and once you're sure that that fits and everything is good I'm going to glue this in with E6000 and get that in there really tight. Now that we've got this guy drying we're going to talk about our pom-poms and I'm going to use recycled pieces of cardboard and we're going to be doing two different sizes we want one for the body and one for the head so I'm going to find one that's around ten and a half inches wide and if you pull a plate a lid a pot a pan whatever you can do to get that circle and then our inside is going to be about three and a half inches and that is really important because our tool has to fit through there so that's the reason that we make the inside that size and we're going to keep the insides the same on both of these for the big and the small and my small one is eight inches across again with a three and a half on the inside you're going to cut two of these and then you're going to cut both of them down so we can remove them after we make them i am going to be using um my tool and I picked my tool up at Walmart they have it in the Christmas section you can look for it at any craft store when they're having it on sale right now during the holidays they're having these um, they used to have them a dollar but they've added more to them and they're charging two dollars for them so I'm going to use for my bottom one I'm going to be using 31 yards for that plus um, this one is 10 yards and 10 yards so I'm going to be using a total of 50 yards for the bottom of my this of the snowman you want it nice and tight and full so it can support everything else so we don't want to make it so light and loose and fluffy that it doesn't support that so on the head I'm going to use again the 31 yard and a 10 and I like the kind of sparkly feel that putting one into it gives it but there is nothing wrong with um, doing it all white if you wanted to I would just make sure that I have at least 40 yards on the top and 50 yards on the bottom you may even want to do it in blue think outside the box so to start these um, we're just going to simply start with our glitter ones first and the reason being is that's where the center is and you see it if you did it last it would be on the top and the bottom and you would not see that especially on the body part of it so I'm going to line this cut up together right there so I have those in the same place so it'll be easier later on when we want to remove that and I'm going to start by holding my tool right up here because that's where we're going to cut it and try and put that on there as straight as we can you can always trim that later if it's not at the point we want and then we're going to just start wrapping it and I try to keep this as even as I can now on the bigger one I'm going to do this probably about an inch 
in from the last one. And with the wide, it may be a little bit harder to tell. It's not perfect, but if you kind of keep it more even, it'll be better in the long run. So that's kind of something to think about. So if I held my finger there, put the next one on there, and then I could just keep moving up and I'll know where I've been. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this first one on here and we'll show you how to start the second one. So I've finished with a tool up here now. If this doesn't wrap around and all the way back up, this needs to go. So we're going to stop that guy here. We're going to start the next one here. And again, I'm doing two glitters, so 20 yards of the glitter and then 30 yards of this the regular white. And we're just going to keep going all the way around till we have all this on. We're going to do that on the big one and then we're going to do the small one the exact same way. We're going to start out with just one of the glitters and then we're going to go to a big white and finish this up all the way so we can create the body of the snowman. Once we have both of these wrapped, we're going to start with our large one because we're going to put it on first. I'm using my little snips. If you ever want any really heavy duty little scissors like this, MiriamJoy.com has them for you. So we're going to start to cut our tool and what we want to do is get down to the cardboard and get between them and then that way we have it where we can just cut all the way around. And just be careful when it comes to the area where the cardboard splits. Sometimes you'll lose your little piece there. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this all the way around. Once we've cut this all the way around, we're going to stick it right onto our little pole there because we're going to want to tie that right on. And I'm going to use some really strong cording. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this between the two pieces of cardboard. And we're going to tie this on. And this really works better if you have two people, one to hold your knot really well. So I'm going to set that in there. Bring this all the way around. And if you loop it twice instead of once, it also helps hold that a little bit better, a little bit tighter until we get it there. So we're going to open that up, have that person put their finger right on that knot so we can get that second knot in there nice and tight. Now I'm going to do something different. I'm going to go back to the other side and we're going to do this one more time. And what that's going to do is that's going to tighten up if we lost any of it and it's a little bit loose it's going to tighten it right up so we're going to do it one more time here Put that in there slide up under there hold that knot in place for us and get that second knot in there okay so we've got that nice and tight so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come in here and I'm going to leave about an inch long, just enough to kind of, so the knots don't come untucked. And we're going to take off our cardboard. This is why we cut that like we do, so we can remove it. We're going to take both pieces off. At this time. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and cut our second one. Isn't that cute already? And if any of it is bunched up, kind of fluff it out and get that all spread apart. And I'm going to go ahead and cut my second one and tie him on just the way we did this one. I'm going to tie him right on up there. So we've got this all tied off and I kind of wanted to show you where our top is so you can kind of see it and know where it is. If you weren't going to put the hat on it so it couldn't come off, you might want to go ahead and just put a little bit of kind of hot glue right there and that way that would kind of keep that from coming off if you didn't do the hat. But you'd want to hide 
that down. So that's something to think about. So once we've got those on there, don't lift it up off your dowel. Go ahead and remove those. I take these and I've used these a bunch. Once you have them, you can use them many, 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 many times over. So that's the great thing about your little pom-pom guys. And again, we're going to fluff him all up. Get him all the way we want to. And kind of decide where you want his front to be. That looks good to me. But we want it thick because we're going to glue all of this stuff onto him. This is what really makes our snowman cute is all of the little details that we're going to do to him. So that's something to think about. I went and got a package of Fun Foam. I think I've got 10 or 12 big sheets. Instead of buying them all individually, it was cheaper that way. So what I did is we created him... Uh, carrots, some eyes, some different things like that. Uh, one of the first things I want you to do is you can use popsicle sticks or you can use longer sticks or craft sticks. Go out and paint them white because we're going to put these hands on them and we don't want them to show up once we stick them in. I didn't do this area because I'm going to stick his little gloves on there. So I went and cut a glove out of you could do it cardstock, anything like that. I just use cardboard. And I did four of these, and I just used a side, and I traced around my side. So we have four little gloves because we're going to put one on each side. So when you do them, make sure that they have a front and a back and a front and a back, and they don't overlap or one stick out any further than the other. On these, I use my permanent markers. You can use any type of markers. It really doesn't matter. I picked up a bunch of regular permanent markers at the Dollar Tree. Uh, there was either 8 or 10, something like that. And I really love these markers. So you don't have to get expensive markers. That's something to think about. And um, I did like Ivy. And what I would do is when I was creating any of these patterns, I would just simply draw it on and then come back in with my scissors and cut it out after I had it drawn. So I did a couple of ivy. We're going to talk about these here as we go. And I put glitter on my ivy. I think, I think it just kind of added that extra sparkle that we're going to put onto his hat. I did some berries. I just drew a circle and put a little thing through their nose. So we've got that. And then I did five little ear... Uh, they're not circles. Just take your scissors and cut them out. This is your coal. We want five little ones for the mouth and three big ones for the the buttons up front and I just did back and forth back and forth back and forth with my scissors and then I took a sharpie silver and just marked them I'll just use a gold here because that's what I have just I didn't do these on the outside I just did some little marks to kind of make them um, some dimension to it so I did five for his mouth you could put the bigger ones in the middle and the smaller ones out on the end. And I have three for his little buttons, his cold little buttons. We've done his gloves. And I need one more for his mouth here. He's running around here somewhere. Yep. And then we're going to talk about his hat. I did a carrot for his nose. And you just do the shape and then you can just kind of draw it in a little bit up on the sides and that's how we do his carrot nose. So once you get all those little guys done, now his hat I really had some trouble thinking about here and I went back and forth with what I wanted to do with his hat and I tried to make it out of fun foam only and it just didn't work for me. So what I came back and did is I went and got a peanut can and you could use any type of container that was this size. It doesn't have to be peanuts. That's just what I happen to have at the time. So I took my little can 
and I rolled it to figure out all the way for this to be covered and I cut that strip out and then I traced around the top of my lid and I cut that piece out and then I wanted one that would be the brim so I took my Miriam Joy craft circles and these are at miriamjoy.com if you don't have any of these you will love these and I wanted to have one that was a little bit bigger than my center piece and I drew that on and I cut that out so that is how we're going to do our little hat so we're going to just hot glue this all on now and I just did a little bit at a time both edges and I'm using hot glue so I have more workable time make sure I have my cleanest piece on the outside and try to keep the glue from getting over the edges that keeps it cleaner especially up on top so I'm gonna go ahead and finish gluing this guy all the way around I cut this so this piece bumps right up to that because if you overlap it it's kind of thick and it doesn't look really good so you might even want to make that cut last and just put your scissors up there and cut that right off so we've got that on so now I'm just going to glue on our top I think I'm gonna glue in the middle we'll see about gluing up on the edges or not kind of keeping that glue off those edges so it doesn't look as gluey as my last one did it's always fun to kind of figure this out the first time through so now we have our last one here and I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna glue this area and I want to just set it down into that center piece as much as possible because that lip goes down there I've got to glue this on the outside try not to get the glue though on the very edge again so and if you had some that was a little bit bigger on the side you could trim it a little bit I know I have this guy just a little bit bigger over here but I may make matters worse by trimming it so that's up to you and then I went ahead and I once I had this on and I didn't do it before you could do it before if you wanted to I'm going to trim some of this and this does not need to be pretty out so that this can sit better on the snowman's head and if you thought that you would be easier to line it up and do that center circle then you can go ahead and do that now how do you want your snowman's hat to fit I'm probably going to do mine just a little bit to the left but not too much because it kind of plays with the face a little bit and I'm going to do a scarf that I just cut out of some fun material and I think I'm probably going to do a headband in the same or hat band excuse me in the same way I will just kind of tuck that in a little bit I did my last one with fleece it's just going to be whatever you think I think the fleece is thicker so that might hold up a little bit better but I'm going to go ahead and take some red now and I'm probably not going to hot glue that I'll probably tacky glue that hat band on so I went ahead and put the material guy all the way around that I think that's really cute but I did use on the other hat that I did I did use just the fun foam so if you don't have material you can use the fun foam as well so um, I did that with the tacky glue like I said and I'm going to go ahead and put these little holly on and I'm going to kind of decide how I want them so I think I'm going to do one holly berry there and one two on the bottom and then I went back to my hot glue I did try rubber cement on this project and I 
just wasn't having luck with it, I went back to my hot glue gun. So, I guess I did try that. So if you make that work better than I can, go for it. I always say, whatever works for you. Um, I do have a couple of hollies here because on the other one I put one on the bottom, but we may not use that. We'll take a look at that in just a second. And so I'm going to go ahead and get my holly glued on here. And I'm just going to rub them in between the berries. And kind of one on each side. I want to make sure my glue is not showing there. Get this guy glued on. We'll talk about that third one in just a minute here. And if you think it needs three, then go ahead and put that third one in. That might be kind of cute. I had one coming down off of the rim of the hat on the other one, which is was cute as well. But <laughs> if I can get these out of here, I think I'm going to go ahead. Oh, we'll take a, yeah, I want that third one on there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this glued on, and then I'm going to show you how to do the eyes. Didn't our hat turn out really cute? You could put a hole up in it, and you could use that for an ornament, and that would be a, a really cute idea. So the eyes show the emotion of the character. So we want to make sure that we have these with a lot of emotion. So I'm going to kind of do up and around, and then I'm going to do kind of like half an oval up and around here. And I'm using cardstock right now because we're going to create the piece we can trace around so that we get our eyes exactly the same size. So I'm going to cut this eye out, and then I'm going to go over to our white fun foam and I'm going to trace it twice. So now that we've drawn these on, we're also going to draw the next step of the eyes. And this is going to be the blue part. And they're both going to be to the right side. We want to keep them to the same side. But if we cut that out, then we'll have them more in the same size when we go to put them on our eyes. And I'm just using a pencil so that we can cover that up easier. So I'm going to put him up here. And you may also want to put these up to your snowman and decide if you think these are too big for your snowman. If they're too big, then you may want to make them smaller. So that is something to think about as well. So once we have these all drawn on, you decided that it's size you want, we're going to outline the very outline with our black magic marker. And if you do one, then go to the other one and let this dry for just a moment. That is better. But I'm going to use a blue. Now I'm going to do something different here. I'm going to make a big curve circle here on the inside with the white and then a smaller one here. This is reflective light. And that part we're not going to color in. So we're going to go ahead and color all the rest of this in with our blue marker to create our eye. So go ahead and cut around the outside of your eyes and get those all ready to go. Now we're going to start putting him together. So we want to put our hands together and what we're going to do, and let me get these matched up here. We're going to glue our stick in the middle of these guys. So we're just going to stick it up, make sure he's on nice and secure, and hot glue all the way around the edges. 
And we're going to go ahead and do both of those. So we're going to start to assemble it. First I'm going to make sure that my hands fit all the way in there, that the sticks aren't too large. They should stick right out right at the pom-pom uh, area. So, but I'm going to start with the hat and work my way down. I want to make sure that this crease is in the back. I'm going to give him a little bit of a slant. And again, this is kind of why it's nice to leave that area a little bit bigger there. We've got more to glue on there. So we're just going to put him on. And I've got him sitting at a little bit of that slant. And if you had a dowel that was sticking up a little bit higher, that dowel would be covered up by the hat. So that's something to think about. And then I'm going to glue in my eyes. And I'm using hot glue on this. I'm not going to uh, do anything different. So I kind of want to put it all on and kind of see where it's going to go. And then I know how my mouth is going to go there. So I want my eyes a little bit higher here and we're just going to start to assemble this all the way down so cut that The reason we put his hat on first was so we could see how to line this up because when I didn't put my other hat on first until I did his face, it just didn't look quite right. Now we want to put these straight across from one another and I'm going to put this one in between his scarf and so we're going to set him there and the other one on the other side. So I'm just going to add glue to the sticks with the hot glue and then I'm going to push my hands around a little bit but not too much to kind of get those onto the pom-pom. Do one other video. Trim any of the little guys that we may need to off of our material. But isn't he really cute? Another thing that you could do, instead of doing these, you could actually do some of the little greenery pieces and a poinsettia up there. That would be darling as well. But just take him, make him your own. Well, I hope you really enjoyed making our little tool snowman, and he's a lot of fun. Uh, just have fun with it. Add your own special thing to it. Use your own colors and give it your touch. I'd love to see what you come up with. You can always email me a picture at artatmiriamjoy.com. I hope you have a great winter and a Merry Christmas from Miriam Joy.